Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Courtney. And in today's video, I thought I'd do something a little different. I'm gonna be talking about House of Intuition, one of my favorite stores ever, but more specifically, I'm gonna be talking about their magic candles. If you have or haven't heard of House of Intuition, I'm so excited to talk about them with you guys today and also give you guys some basic info on their magic candles and also, I'm going to be giving you the details on my real life story of what happened after each candle. <laughs> All right, so let's dive into today's video. So as you can see behind me, I have a few candles that I've already bought and burned through House of Intuition. I also have a brand new one that I'm going to light very soon that I'm super excited for. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys some basic information on House of Intuition and their candles. <laughs> so how did I discover House of Intuition? Um, basically, I was shopping on Melrose and I was walking around and I saw a sign and it said, your intuition led you here. And I was like, what is that? It was like writing on the wall and there was this store. And I was like, oh, okay. I saw some like amethyst wings out in front and I was like, ooh, it looks like it's a crystal shop. So I walked inside and it was so beautiful in there. There was all these crystals. There was all these like spirituality based things like books, incense. And eventually, I didn't see them at first, but there was a whole wall of candles. I was just so mesmerized by all the crystals and cool stuff. I didn't even notice all this giant wall of candles. <laughs> um, so basically, I was looking at them and a sales associate came up to me and told me about their magic candle line. And I was super intrigued and I had to get some. I was like, okay, I'm getting one. I got one for myself and I got one for my cousin. So I basically went home that day and what's really cool about these candles is that everything you need to know is on the back of them. So if someone's like a sales associate is talking to you and you don't really remember everything that she said because they explain it very well, um, it's super easy because on the back of the candle it says everything that you need to do. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and read off the back of the candle so you guys can get the gist of how these candles work. Create a sacred space with a prayer to your guides or deity, blowing sage to the four directions or burning incense. Set your intention for the outcome you desire. Visualize it through meditation and then light the candle. Leave the candle burning until it goes out on its own, three to five days. Place candle in a bowl of water for safety. Caution, candle glass may crack or break due to energy and may leave one to two inches of wax. This is normal. Pray over the candle each day it burns, again, visualizing the outcome you desire. If you can't leave the candle burning, then snuff it out after your ritual. Do not blow it out. Then relight and snuff the candle each time you pray on it until the candle is finished. Turn the candle on and off at the same time each day whenever possible. When the candle is done, you'll find a stone inside that will be supercharged with your intention. Dig out your crystal if needed. Keep it on your altar or carry it with you as a totem reminding you of your spell. Stones vary in each candle and are put in the candle intuitively. What you get is what the universe wants you to have. So my biggest takeaway from these candles is it's super important not to blow them out. When you have to leave your house or your room, always snuff it out. And snuffing out means you put something on top of it and it cuts off the oxygen and the flame just goes out basically. Um, you could also get like one of those little cone things that you can just put over the flame and it goes out. Just it's super important not to blow out these candles once you've set your intention. I also think it's really awesome that there's some crystals at the bottom of this. I remember like just waiting for it to burn to see what crystals I got at the bottom. So that's a really fun element that I enjoy about these candles. Overall, in general, I have to say House of Intuition is a wonderful, wonderful company. All of their stores are beautiful. They have wonderful, nice sales associates that work there that are like nice and approachable and will talk to you about crystals or spirits or whatever you your heart desires really um and also just their website is great i've bought stuff on their website before it's quick and easy to check out 
Um, and I've noticed lately on their Instagram live stories, they've been really showing up. Like they're really doing a great job during this pandemic with, you know, keeping everyone's spirits so high. So my suggestion is definitely to follow them on Instagram because they just have like the best content. <laughs> I'm super excited to light this candle on my birthday, which is in two days. Um, I got the happy birthday Gemini candle. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting two days. I'm gonna light it on my birthday and set a really powerful intention to it. Okay, so now that I've kind of explained House of Intuition to you, how the candles work, I'm now ready to tell you about my wonderful experiences with these candles. <laughs> So the first candle I have that I'm going to share with you guys is the Abundance Candle. This candle I got pretty much a year ago. I found out, or I found House of Intuition basically a year ago because it was a couple days before my birthday. Um, I was in Melrose, like I said, shopping, and this is the candle I picked out. It's empty now, obviously. Um, it was Abundance. It was this beautiful, like, burnt orangey red color. Um, and basically, I came home, I uh, did my, you know, prayer, my intention setting, and I actually was pretty proud of myself because I did not snuff this out at all. I let this burn the entire time, and it took about five days. I was really excited because abundance was something that I was really trying to... I don't know. I just, I had this interest in what it would be like to have just so much abundance in my life. I was looking for abundance in my life. And when I walked in that store and I saw all these different candles and all these different, you know, words on them, when I saw this abundance candle, it just, candle, it just like really struck a chord in me. And I felt like, wow, this is exactly what I need right now. Um, and I will say like, once this burned out after those five days, I felt like within a month, um, things really changed in my life in a really positive way. Um, I got a job that, I'm a, I work freelance in the entertainment business, and I got a job that ended up being a four month long freelance gig, and it was really wonderful. I was making really good money, and I was just doing what I love, and I felt so grateful for that. I also got to travel to Canada with some of my friends, and just explore a different country was so amazing and I just felt so good. And I think I was experiencing just an abundant life. It was the most abundant summer of my life. <laughs> it was wonderful and I really feel like this candle had something to do with it. So the next candle I got, I actually got with a friend. Um, uh, we both got the road opener was mine that I chose and my friend who was living with me at the time She got the break and cut candle So we bought both of these candles together. She was staying in my house So we lit them together and we had them burn next to each other the whole time and that was kind of a cool experience because I mean before that I only had a candle for myself, but being like doing like the whole intention setting, have our, having our own ceremony together, having these be right next to each other burning. I felt like we both got the candles like in both of our energies. Like even though this one was for me, like I definitely felt like I felt this one too, which is a cool element to think about, I feel like. <laughs> um, but basically, um, what we noticed was my road opener candle was burning a lot faster than her break and cut candle. And I feel like this is because she had a lot going on in her life and I feel like it was taking longer for it to burn because, you know, it was, it was really working for her and it needed some time. I think mine, it was just like on the way faster. It was burning faster. It was like, okay, I'm coming to you. <laughs> We're going to get there. So that was kind of a cool, so that was kind of cool to see how they don't burn at the same time. They burn differently because of the intention you set at the very beginning. And it was it was cool because it, by this by this time when I, we bought these candles, it was the beginning of fall. So I felt like my abundance candle was like kind of like coming down a little bit. Um, I was, you know, on to the next thing in my life as far as work goes. I was looking for something. Um, and this road opener really like First of all, it helped me get another job really quick, which was really nice. I got another freelance gig, and um, it, I feel like it really just opened up 
my portal to spirituality. I feel like I did a lot of growing during this time. I was learning a lot about spirituality and crystals and I felt like I was going down a really good path and I think that has to do with this scandal. <laughs> And then the breaking cut, which I thought was interesting, you know, it wasn't for me, but I was there, this energy was around me, and there was a lot of people and decisions I had to make. I had to like energetically like cut the cord, and I had the courage to do that. It was something I'd been thinking about, and I finally just committed. I was like, I'm not going to stand for this. Um, I, there was also some habits that I was forming that I didn't like. I cut all those habits off, and... It was funny how this ended up like working for me as well, even though it wasn't for me, but being in the same like energy field, it definitely rubbed off on me. So I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> All right, now my last candle, last candle I've burned with them is the success candle. <laughs> um, so I got this candle right at the beginning of 2020 because me and my boyfriend moved into our very first apartment together. And, you know, I just wanted an, some extra success to go along with that, you know? <laughs> um, I went to House of Intuition in Santa Monica, and I got this candle. It was a beautiful green color candle. And, you know, it's only been a couple months. It's been about, what, four or five months since I've gotten this. And with everything that's gone on in 2020, I will say it's been pretty rough with the whole coronavirus stuff. Um, I do feel really blessed and lucky for the circumstances that I'm under right now um, and just you know people around me I feel like there is a su success element with me because I'm safe um, I'm healthy and I haven't been affected in a horrible horrible way during this pandemic and that's how I'm looking at this success candle that's how I feel like it's been infused in my life and I am so grateful that I set a really powerful intention right at the beginning of 2020 because maybe I wouldn't be here right now if I didn't. So I'm like super happy that I got this candle and that it's really working very well. <laughs> so I will say these candles are really extraordinary. I don't know what they do to infuse these candles with such amazingness but if you want to experience these candles, I'm gonna put the link to their website in my description box. So definitely check out their website, check out their candles, see what you feel called to. They have so many, so many um, magic candles that you can choose from. Um, it's just fun to kind of pick out, what am I feeling? What do I wanna send attention to? The whole experience is wonderful. I can't recommend them enough. And I'm so excited that I get to talk about them here on my channel. So definitely go check it out. Um, but that's it for my review of their magic candles and just what House of Intuition is. Please go check them out. Follow them on Instagram. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any experience with magic candles, if you have a really cool story about you know an intention you set to a magic candle, I would love to hear about it. Um, again, I've only been doing this for about a year, so I'm pretty new to it. And I'd love to hear your stories in the comments. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, you know what to do. Thanks for hanging out and until next time.